Norway have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. There's the whistle, and here we go. Tries to get it forward quickly. one through here cleared away Norway have a free kick Just brushed off the ball there. And the weighted pass. Tries one! That has certainly tested the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. They've played it short. Oh, that's neat. Chooses to go back. Well, it's not the quickest of starts, but what it lacks in... in... Oh, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Oh, it's not taking it long, and that's going to be a booking. can get it clear great strength too strong for his opponent good spell of possession this but very little to show for it other side yet able to force a breakthrough here a forward pass Looking to hit the front line. Lovely bit of skill. Pressure stays on, it is a corner. Away from immediate danger. He gets past his man. Clears it out of harm's way. Over to the left. Tries the great leap! Played it again. He's 
certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Gets it back. He's had that, tries a shot! He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter. <laughs> Hoists it forward. Battles to win it back. Forward it goes. He's picked him out. Has a goal! They've scored! First blood drawn. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. behind for a corner kick up to meet it it's a carbon copy of the previous miss they're just lacking a cutting edge Peter and while that's fairly obvious the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good Deep into stoppage time. Plays it out to the wing. Done very well to intervene. And it's half time here. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. 
Here we go again, then. Norway need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Ball is over the line. Gets it back. Gets it and shoots! And it's played forward. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Oh, that's a foul and the whistle's gone. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end they are defending the indefensible. And the finish! Goal! And this is getting better and better. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. starting to look very comfortable that second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods I mean one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three massive leap and the ball's come it's come back out that's a half decent try Oh, it's a very good effort. There wasn't much wrong with that at all. We're talking fine margins now. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Out to the left it goes. Now gone. Driving on a real charge here. A chance to play it in. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Well, more than happy to take the muscular approach. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Going to be pulled back for that one.
Gets it upfield. Keeps everyone guessing. Gets into some space. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Norway are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. We have got ourselves a game here. I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. Oh, good challenge. Stood up well against his man. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Forward it goes. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. They're making life really hard for themselves. The ball needs to be in the mixer, not there. And the counter is on. That's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. Played down the flank. A spectacular effort! Worth a try. Shame about the outcome. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort, and it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. Norway can't seem to retain... To real chance! <laughs> and time is up. Norway moves by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. Your final thoughts, Jim? Norway seem to have taken this on with a, a complacent mentality to just...